then uh, five policemen in, um, came in, and uh, and then I then I knew I was saved. And we, uh, I, I actually didn't cr- I didn't cry before I knew uh, that the police uh, came, and then I just started crying hysterically because I oh it was such a relief. Lisa Marie Hoosby there, one of the uh, eyewitnesses, speaking to my colleague uh, John Sopel in Oslo. Don't forget, you can keep up to date if you're away from the television. You can watch BBC News live on the web. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash news and click on the link. And in a moment, we'll be joined by viewers on BBC One for a full bulletin with Matthew Amrilliwala. Impressionism belongs not on a box of chocolates, but on a case of dynamite. It's a story of rebellion and courage with everything changed. Art revealed. The Impressionists' Painting and Revolution starts tonight at 8 on BBC Two and BBC HD. 46 athletes, 23 countries and one dream. My dream for me is to get that Olympic gold. That's the greatest thing that anyone can want. Follow their training and find out what drives them. I wake up pretty much every morning and I do look forward to the day. I live in a fantastic place to train and it really is a motivation. I've got so much on my plate all the time <laughs> with schoolwork and training. At the moment I'm just looking towards the end of my exams. I have a team around me. This is my second family. Only in sport you can have this kind of emotion. The Countdown to London 2012 on BBC News, Radio 5 Live and at bbc.co.uk slash 2012. The number of dead in the twin attacks in Norway rises to 92. <laughs> Nearly all were killed when a gunman ran amok on an island summer camp. Police are still searching for more victims. He started shooting at every single person. They were crying, they were screaming. Uh, people were falling over me and, uh, and by playing dead, I believe I saved my own life. 32-year-old Norwegian man is charged. He's believed to have links to extreme right-wing groups. Norway's Prime Minister says the attacks are beyond comprehension, but urges the country not to cave into fear. And remanded in custody, the nurse charged over the deaths of five hospital patients. Good afternoon. Norway's Prime Minister says his country's way of life has been abused and attacked and the violence is beyond comprehension. More than 90 people are now known to have died yesterday, seven in a car bomb in central Oslo, but the vast majority were shot indiscriminately at a summer camp for young people on the island of Utøya. John Sopel joins us now from Oslo. John. Matthew, thank you very much. Yes, flags are flying at half-mast. Uh, people are wandering around the city somewhat bewildered by what has unfolded. There's broken glass on the streets. But none of this captures the magnitude of the scale of the shock felt by the Norwegian people. Our first report is from Richard Galpin, and I should say that some of the images in it are very disturbing. Gradually, the survivors are brought back from the island. Traumatised and probably scarred for life, they are the lucky ones. They're still alive. This is the beautiful island retreat, Utaira, which every year hosts a summer camp for hundreds of teenagers from around the country. 
earlier it seemed so 